let's turn to another major American institution, Chipotle. <laughs> America's preferred over-the-counter laxative. <laughs> it, it has been a rough few months for the sure, let's go ahead and call it Mexican fast food chain. <laughs> Since last July, they've experienced six food safety failures involving norovirus, salmonella and E. coli. And as of December, they face a federal criminal investigation as well. So on Monday, they took drastic action. Chipotle temporarily closed all 2,000 of its stores for four hours today to hold a scheduled company-wide employee meeting on the topic of food safety. Closed stores? Well, that is bad news for Chipotle, but on the bright side, it's the best day Subway has had since Jared went to prison. <laughs> but, 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 I will, I will say, it, it may take more than a few hours to fix some of these systemic problems Chipotle seems to have with its restaurants, especially when you consider reports like this one from a new station in Florida. In January, inspectors walked into Chipotle on Cortez Road West in Bradenton and saw a live wild bird flying around the restaurant with open food at the front line exposed to possible contamination. According to the inspection report, the manager says he was aware of that wild bird and it's a regular nuisance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that bird. He bought a soda like a year ago and he just keeps filling it up. That bird's a dick. You're a dick, Keith. You're a dick. But, but I am sure, I'm absolutely sure, the manager of that bird infested Chipotle <laughs> made sure that it could never, ever happen again. Animal control was called to remove the bird, but when inspectors returned the next day, live bird still there. What? Live bird still there is the second lowest grade you can actually get from a health inspection. <laughs> the, the, uh, the lowest one, of course, being a fieri. <laughs> but, but to go by customers' reactions to Chipotle store closings on Monday, they may not have too much to worry about. I'm disappointed. I mean, I understand they need to take, like, safety precautions, but I love Chipotle. Will it deter you from eating at Chipotle? Uh, no, it won't. No. no. Love those Dorito Bowls too much? Yeah, exactly. It's just so good. It is just so tasty. So it's my dirty little secret. I love Chipotle. So, so hold on. They know it's bad and they want it even more. Chipotle is now officially America's emotionally abusive boyfriend. <laughs> it seems Chipotle have us in the palm of their hands and judging from their latest commercial, they know it. Listen, we know that here at Chipotle we've had a bad few months. Not only did we make people sick with E. coli, norovirus, and salmonella, we're also under criminal investigation by the federal government. <laughs> but don't worry. We took a full half day off on Monday to regroup, and now we're ready to welcome you back with open arms. Welcome to Chipotle. Thank you for your bravery. Sure, Chipotle's hit rock bottom. But all that means is that we're ready to bounce back. I mean, let's face it. If you're even contemplating eating here after an E. coli scare, what would it take to stop you? Learning the one time we accidentally put penguin meat in our barbacoa? Or the three months ago we couldn't find the lettuce, so we just used that Easter basket grass for like five full days? Or that we thaw our meat by having a large man named Mitchell breathe on it? Or that there are a number of wild birds that just come in and eat for free every day? Birds who, in our defense, are only there to deal with our massive bowl problem. Or that our head chef is an actual six-foot cockroach. I'm still pretty sure you'd come back. And you know why? Because if Chipotle could persuade America that 1,000 calorie burritos are healthy, <laughs> and we actually did that, well, then we can do anything we damn well please. Chipotle, what are you gonna do? Go to Taco Bell? <laughs> I don't think so.